Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm finally doing a review of The Phantom of the Opera by Gaston Leroux. That's just how I decided to pronounce the surname, so let's bear with it. This is a book about Eric who is the opera ghost, but he's not really a ghost. He's an actual person who resides uh, under the opera house. I've talked about this book a little bit on my last video, but I'm just going to read the blurb. Living secretly beneath the Paris Opera House, the phantom of the opera Eric has haunted those who work there with his demands and shrouded the opera house in fear with the legend of his disfigured face. When Christine joins the company, Eric is instantly smitten and secretly teaches her to become a great singer. He soon develops an obsessive love for his beautiful protege, resulting in a tragic and terrifying chain of events. One of the most well-loved gothic horror stories, Leroux's suspenseful tale of unrequited love, passion, and tragedy is both dark and moving in its portrayal of Eric, the anti-hero, and his yearning for Christine. Okay, so an overall thought, this entire book is just a marketing stunt and everyone in this book is a fool and it's easy to look at it that way that's just one way of looking at it but of course there is a deeper understanding of what happened in this book when i first started reading the phantom of the opera i was confused it's like jumping in in the middle of a movie and you have no idea what's going on, what's happening. There was no introduction at all. It was like straight to the middle, straight to the conflict. It's like watching the second season and forgetting all about what happened in the first season. And they give you a recap at the beginning, but then it's just all over the place. This book started and I was already at the edge of my seat. It did not allow me to slowly dip my toes in the water. It just like pushed me to the ocean, not knowing how to swim. I had to learn how to swim right then and there just to survive. That's what happened to me. In like the first 10 pages of the book, maybe 10 characters were shoved in. So. It took me 28 pages uh, until I finally found my footing and I finally was able to breathe and reflect and understand what is happening in this book. It's exactly this um, line right here which I've highlighted. Another thing is the point of view. This, I don't know how it, this is written so differently and so unique to me. I haven't encountered a book where it's too direct to the point, too prompt, and just too objectively written that I haven't had the chance to connect with the characters. Instead, it gives you that chance to connect to the story as a whole. I don't know, I guess it's a technique that I haven't, I don't know, like encountered before. It doesn't give you a chance to empathize with any of the characters so that way you're not biased and you're basically just an outsider looking in and reading from, I don't know, like a distant perspective, like a very objective standpoint. It's like reading a news report, very direct to the point. I don't know, it doesn't use very descriptive words. It doesn't describe the emotion of the characters. It's really just reading like a one very long summary of a story. Though I did not connect with the characters, I definitely connected to the story. I think that's what made this book really unique in my opinion. I gave this book three stars. I know that's like a mid-tier. I could have given this more, except I'm very emotional when it comes to reading books. I like to connect to the characters. 
Maybe if I get to read the main character's voice, Eric's voice and point of view, I probably give this four to five stars. I could have fallen in love with him as a character, but I didn't. And that's okay. This is still a very good read. It was a nice experience for me. It's new. It's unique. And I really enjoyed that part. I have three books. The first one I already showed you. The second one, when Eric said, one has to get used to everything in life, even to eternity. That's just a really sad thought. And then the third book to mark page, this is a line from, if I'm not mistaken, Persian. And this basically summarizes Eric's personality and character as a whole. When he said, shall we pity him? Shall we curse him? He asked only to be someone like everybody else. But he was too ugly and he had to hide his genius or use it to play tricks with. When with an ordinary face, he would have been one of the most distinguished of mankind. He had a heart that could have held the empire of the world and in the end, he had to content himself with a seller. That is the opera ghost's life or slash Eric's life. In a nutshell, it would have connected to me more if it was actually Eric who said that. But yeah, it came from another character. So that basically summarizes what I thought of the book. I'm not gonna go into what happened, like literally what happened in the story because that would be giving away the joy of reading the book and also spoilers. So I like to talk about the book, how it made me feel and what I thought of it just after reading the book and just initial impression. I hope it somehow intrigued you enough to give Phantom of the Opera a chance to read because um, it, it really is such a classic book and one that had such a big impact to the modern society. And I think every bookshelf has to have a copy of Phantom of the Opera. 